if you want to make innovation your number one priority, then how do you go about doing it? The traditional way is what? Company-centric, R&D focused. I'm going to do everything myself. So if I want to be the most innovative company, what do I do? I go to the best business schools, right? I, hear, I hire the brightest and the smartest people. I have a large pool of investable resources for getting talent, and I do it myself. That's the old-fashioned way. The new way is more ecosystem-centric, which says there is not a single company that is rich enough, that is smart enough to do it on their own. I'm going to first talk about the need to rethink marketing, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. We will then talk about the need to rethink innovation. Okay? Then I will share with you the implications that those have for business strategy and business thinking. I will also share with you the implications that that has for society. And then I will leave you with a couple of provocations for a new mindset. Customers don't buy quarter inch drills, they buy quarter inch holes. Yes, it is true that in order to drill a quarter inch hole, I need a drill. But that's not the reason why I shake hands with the company. That's not the reason why I do business with you. I do business with you because I have certain problems that I need to solve. I am looking for certain solutions. I am looking for certain means to certain ends. And if you can provide them, I will do business with you. Half a century later, we're still struggling with how can we become more customer centric. The only, business, the only job of a business, he said, was to get hold of a customer and keep the customer. Is customer acquisition a big word today in businesses? Yeah. Or this big phrase? Yes. Yeah. Is customer loyalty a big phrase? Yes. Yeah. It's not new. People have been saying it for lots and lots of years. So isn't that a paradox? And as Bertrand Russell said, paradoxes contain insight. So if on the one hand, you've had people been exhorting you to go out there, get the customer, hang on to the customer. Now, why, what did we say? Why does the customer shake hands with you? Because you offer something of value. Okay? And the only way you can hang on to your customer is by continuing to deliver, provide value. And the only way that you can prevent that value black hole from occurring is by investing in innovation. Selling has only one preoccupation, correct? Rokra. For whom? For the seller, correct? Is that what marketing is? Is that what marketing should be? Okay. So in this new mindset that I'm trying to get you to, 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 to cultivate, to develop, okay, where you're trying to make innovation your number one priority, if you're overly obsessed with sales, if you're overly obsessed with advertising, if you're overly obsessed with your brands and your factories and your processes, you may actually lose customers because why? You may become insensitive to the value black holes. You may never even recognize that the market has shifted from under your feet you can get caught cold. Has it happened? Who was the number one leader in photography for a long, long time? Kodak. Where is Kodak today? In my opinion, marketing is not a department, it's not a function, it's an obsession. And it's an organization-wide obsession. With what? With one and only one thing. And what is that? Creating, delivering, Nurturing, sustaining, innovating customer value. Why? Because if I can do that, I know I will have a customer today. And I know I will have a customer tomorrow. And I know I will have a customer day after tomorrow. The IBM of today looks nothing like the IBM of 10 or 15 or 20 years ago. The Xerox of five years from now is going to look like nothing of the Xerox of 10 years ago. Why? Because the market is changing, they are changing because they are in the business not of making copiers, but of creating customer value. They're a technology company, but not linked to a finite product or a service. They're linked to a certain solution space that they feel that they can own.